trying to request for your mobile phone. You didn't have to struggle with a two-year-old having a mobile phone with him or her and operating it and knowing where the YouTube channel is, knowing where all of that is. You didn't have to struggle with that. You didn't have to struggle with a child wanting to even own a mobile phone at age 10 or 9, 10, 11. You didn't have to worry with what are they watching. You All you worried about was on TV. So those days when NTA puts on the TV, comes on, you know, uh, uh, Cockrow are done or any of those <laughs> uh, programs come on, then you will gather in the parlor and then this. You didn't have to struggle with what are they watching online? What are they doing with their phone? You only had to struggle with games like big games, you know, Nintendo at most. But right now, there are a lot of games. Games with different agendas. Games that will engage these kids and open their minds to things that they're not supposed to be exposed to. Like we said, you didn't grow up as a child or you weren't uh, your parents, uh, or your parents did not have to deal with the over information that we have. I mentioned this last week that we, we live in an age that is not information, it's over information age. We have a billion times much more than what we need as information. So that in itself is a big problem. Right. So our parents, considering all of this, now be truthful to yourself. Are you overwhelmed? Is it time for parents to change their ways? They understand that the times have changed and come up with other strategies or other ways of parenting that are not necessarily what used to be because now we've established that there are changes and there's a lot of exposure. Is it time for us to tweak our parenting style to suit the present day reality? These are the questions we have. These are for my the bottom of our hearts that we're asking this question. And that's that's actually really, really correct and really sincere because um, like we said earlier this sparked a lot of emotion yeah uh, it, it, it moved from anger it moved down to disappointment and and and, 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 and you know feeling sad that was for me the, the the series of emotions that I had or experienced yesterday after stumbling on that conversation or stum- stumbling on that uh, happening. I yeah. mean, uh, the story rather on social media. So we, we 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 were just having this conversation between ourselves and we asked, "Are parents really overwhelmed?" Hmm. So let's. Let, if you're a parent right now and you're listening to us, or even if you're not. Do you think that parents are overwhelmed by the usage of the internet? And, and, and you know, there's also that aspect of uh, the fear of being left out. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't want a situation where my child is not in vogue. Yep. I, I have to also give them these gadgets. Yep. I have to also let them be free and yeah. socialize. Because mm-hmm. that, that also is a factor. Absolutely. That's also a very huge factor. So we know that also comes to play once in a while. Yep. But our sincere and genuine question to you right now is, are you overwhelmed? As a parent. As a parent. Training a child or raising a child in this internet age. Because believe it or not, they're exposed to so much information and they're exposed to so much content that are that could be detrimental to their mental health, their yep. moral values and whatnot. And the challenge could be that even these kids may be more exposed than their parents. Most of these kids can operate the new technology much more than their parents because the parents feel like, oh, what's my own? It's not a business. These children are this. They are the ones on TikTok. They are the ones on what am I doing there? What's my age? But, but perhaps we need to... Sh- tweak our parenting style to meet them where they are i don't know but guys are you overwhelmed well the phone lines are not working we have alternative lines that you can call and the lines are zero one two seven seven zero nine nine three i'll take that again zero one two seven seven zero nine nine three or zero one two seven seven one nine nine three or zero one two seven seven two nine nine three if you didn't get that uh i would like to take it again because it's a new number uh the first number zero one two seven seven zero nine nine three or zero one two seven seven one nine nine three or zero one two seven seven two 
0809-597-5805. And for WhatsApp, you can send to 0809-597-5805. 0809-597-5805. We get to the calls right now. We're also streaming live on Facebook and uh, on YouTube. It is uh, Nigeria Info 99.3 on Facebook. It's Nigeria Info FM on YouTube. Find us, you know, comment and uh, put a smile there. Put a smiley there. Let's talk about this very pertinent issue affecting us as a people hi good morning hello hello good morning can you hear us hello Ooh, couldn't hear you hello hello hi what's up lagos please scream that <laughs> it's chilly now how are you guys doing we're, we're doing good. good. We're doing good. Right. Please, we have not heard. We have not heard what's up, Lagos today. Can you do that for us, please? Um, I cannot me. But if you tell me what to do, I will do it. Good. Just say what's up, Lagos. What's up, Lagos? Yes, chest alive. alive. <laughs> that was healing. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, my name is Only One Mama. All right. All right. So what I'm going to say now, some people will disagree with me. Okay. All right. But um, just what I need all to do is just to listen to me uh, when I'm done. It's just my personal view. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, this thing started by child abuse. Uh, it was campaign all over. And it got attention. And they moved on to um, female equality with male. And people misunderstood that. And at that point, parenting become an issue. Hmm. Mothers now left their jobs and turn to feminists. Feminists to me is a different thing from what people are thinking. My understanding of feminists is that give female the opportunity to be what they want to be. Not female to leave their responsibility because they think they're feminists. Parenting those days, the way the nature created the world yeah. is male goal for how to keep the family together, mm. female support from home side, so that the man will focus on what he's doing outside. You know, we keep growing and evolving, keep changing, but we now misunderstood what feminism is all about, and we started abusing everything. Mm. Now. If a child of 11 or 12 years old should understand the, what the sex is all about, you know, to the level of what I saw in the video, mm-hmm. that means she didn't start recently. So do you think parents are overwhelmed? Yes, they are overwhelmed. One, two, we've left our responsibilities. Okay. The mothers are no more responsible for what they're supposed to do okay. because they want to be equal or supporting the man, hmm. which I understand. So I would say we want to support the man so that both ends with me. So we now left our primary responsibility. Okay. We for example, myself, my wife is a lawyer. Okay. We got married, and luckily, the dad um, kind of what to do and they got a job somewhere i want to mention the place but it's a multinational mm-hmm. and i never told her baby i will support you to do anything you want to do but at this moment if both of us start working going out early in the morning coming back late i can't believe these children that if i ask them what is their name they don't know what happened to you they can't tell me and give it to someone that needs help mm to take care of. Our employees are one college person, a maid or a domestic staff. That person clearly needs help because the person intellectually, uh, morally, the person is not saying, now I'm handing over my child's foundation to someone I don't know because both parents want to go and search for delivery. That to me, I told her, please, stay at home with this kids. Right. When they get to that point, they will understand. If I ask them, baby, what happened to you? You say, it's Uncle John mm. or it's Sister Mary. Yeah. Not what happened to you, they were pointing at the ceiling, pointing downwards and upwards. All right. And they were just put them back and after she agreed. 
And I tell you today, she keeps thanking me for that decision. All right. Now she's doing her job. Mm. She, she had her own chamber and everything. She's, she, she's even refused to work again. She worked for the chamber and, you know, have her own time. All right. Thank you very much. Jess Lequeur has been on the line. Please make sure you have one minute. <laughs> Lequeur is gone. So when you call in, put your thoughts together, get a hit that would make it 90 seconds. All right, 90 seconds maximum. Right. 90 seconds maximum. Time yourself. If not, we might need to just disconnect it so we can take as many calls as possible. The phone lines again 012770993 or 012771993 or 012772993. Hello. 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 Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. What's your name, please? My name is Femi Udukoya. I'm calling from Agbara. All right, good to have you join us. Talk to us. Yeah, I haven't watched the video yet. You don't even but, need uh, to watch the video, please. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what I see there is that uh, parenting is now, I'm a parent, yes, okay. uh, I'm a father, yes, and I have a kid. But what will really happen is that parents are overwhelmed. Mm. The issue is that uh, now what father is bring to the table is not enough. And the mother, they are contesting that what the father is bringing is not enough. They have to work. Mm -hmm. And if they are working, if both are working, you understand, who are you really to keep the kids weak? Mm -hmm. That is the issue. You understand? Right. The people that keep the kids weak, maybe it's uh, maybe nanny or whatever, they are the people who is corrupting the children. You understand? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Adeo Lua is on the line. All right. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello, good morning. What's up, Lagos? Cheers to life. life. Oh, my goodness. Thank you that you did oh. that. <laughs> yeah, well, I needed that, too, because I've, I've been feeling all kind of ways mm. since yesterday. Right. Um, I, I, I'm, I like, in fact. But, you know, our parents overwhelmed. Mm. Let's go straight to the point. Yes. Yes, they are. I'm not a parent yet. I'm an aspiring parent. Yeah. And I'm feeling overwhelmed, so you can I can't even imagine how those who already oh, have the hurts. children are feeling. Yep. Mm. You know, so at, at this point, we need to take drastic actions. That's just because things have gone beyond normal right now. Right. Let's ban children from phones, technology, and everything for now until we figure out how to let's go to analog yeah. with our children. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. that one more thing is that we should petition all the places we need to petition to mm. ban pornography mm. from this country mm. Mm. because the reason why it might be easily accessible is because so many adults right. are having access to these things right. and so there is this traffic of it going into the country right. which is making it accessible to everybody else mm. okay so let, let, that's what I think, oh, that's what I would do, okay. you know, but if parents feel that they can still control the situation with their children, with phones and everything, no problem. That's just what I think. All right. All right thank, thank you, you so very much. much. I wish the children involved healing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Indeed. And the parents yes. involved healing. In fact, we all need healing at this Absolutely. point because I feel traumatized. I can tell you that for free. That's wow. right. Thank you so much, Adeoluwa. We all need healing. Even me. We do, man. I feel goosebumps all around me right now. Hello. Welcome, Remy. Good to have you join Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Remy. How are you doing now? Colin? Very good. Good morning, well. That's right. Yeah, I saw the video, and to be honest, I wasn't shocked. I wasn't shocked. Except we all choose to deny these things happened. The only difference is to caught on camera. That's the only difference. A lot of things are happening. Supposing that thing happened in the public school, one might think probably the lack of renter, um, or bringing lack of money and all that. Mm. But you can't tell me kids who went to Dubai are from poor homes or middle class shows they are financially okay so what's missing parenting decadence in society and i'm not trying to sign and to sound um 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 you mean very pessimistic okay we are still going to see more of this it's not going to stop it is not going to stop we saw that of different universities back to back mm. You might, probably you would think probably the previous was, or maybe others would have learned from previous mistakes. Mm. But keep, keep seeing people doing the same mistake 
continuously. Right. So, so and that's question. one of the demerits of social media. Right. That's one of the demerits which you have to deal with mm. as so parents, as how society. Do, how do we do that? We know that we have to do all these things, but how? Number one, the media. What are the things the government allows in those things they allow on the, the air space? Mm -hmm. Kids have access to the internet. They can easily go through porn sites. Yes. What I saw in that video was kids who learn things from porn. Okay. That's what I saw in that video. Kids who learn things from pornography. Right. Right. Thank you for your submission. Hello. Hello. What's up, Jesus? Just alive. Just to look It's good to have you. Back. This is the third time. I know. We apologize. Okay. No problem. See, you know, you guys did a show on T. You people talked about uh, having having phone. Even children from yeah. some people, some parents called in. Yes, it doesn't matter. You can give your you can keep your child a phone from JS. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like Android. Yeah. Some of those that were calling in was kicking against giving them all this all this smartphone. Yeah. At least with what they see now, mm -hmm. maybe they are going to rethink mm -hmm. about giving out a phone because you can't tell me that girl didn't learn that thing from something she did not see. Mm -hmm. She has been watching it for long. That means she has access to a big phone for her to be able to see those type type of things. Remember, mm -hmm. it's not just the girl who was involved in this. There were yes, other I'm kids. not talking about the girl alone. Oh. You understand? I'm going to the guy also. Same thing with the guy. I'm not blaming the girl alone. Same thing with the guy. That means the parents of the children, both the guy. And the dog and the and the girl, they failed. Hmm. They failed woefully. And the one thing they are even passing out that is annoying me about the matter is they claim it's a rape. Hmm. How can it be a rape? What oh. kind of people just use the word rape anyhow? Is that rape? So are parents overwhelmed, just look where like so the broader they are sense so of overwhelmed. It. Both the father and the mothers, they are not doing their duty. All right. Thank you, Jason Lokwe. So okay. that question is very key. Right. Are parents overwhelmed? And you might want to answer, what is overwhelming the parents? Yeah. We just pointed out the availability of internet mm -hmm. and access by children. Right. Could be one of the things that parents are over, how to control that, that they have no control whatsoever. Because for you to be able to do parenting properly, there's got to be some level of control right. over your child. Right. You know, you, you said something yesterday when we were really talking about it, when we took that stroll and, yeah. you know, I was, I, I was really overwhelmed myself. Yeah. And then you said something about taking off the internet, taking off social media. Yeah. Like, I, like, no, like, I predicted yeah, that, that if we continue like this, mm -hmm. the social media and internet, the social media specifically might, might crash, might just, might, might disappear. I mean, I'm telling you. Right. In some countries, they don't exist. Is controlled social media that exists. Mm. Social media as we know it may not exist in the long run if you know nothing is done, if this continues like this, because like you said, there's a lot of information and the social media accounts for a whole lot right. as far as uh, what these kids are exposed to is concerned. So our, our main question is, uh, are parents overwhelmed? And if the answer to that question is yes, and uh, how? How can we... How can we how can we get to the root of this? How can we help parents and help ourselves be able to train our children in ways that we can still have that uh, our moral values still intact? Mm. How can we do that? Big question on Facebook. There are comments coming in and um, the calls are coming in too. So let's do more calls since we have missed talking to people. Hello. Hello good afternoon. It's morning. Good to have you. Good morning. Welcome. Hello, Hello good, morning. good morning. Yes, good morning. Move away from your radio. Oh, sorry. What's up, neighbor? Chair still alive. Uh, well, parents are overwhelmed. I must confess that to you. Okay, uh, move away from your radio. Why do you say so? And uh, could you explain? Ay, ay, ay. Or maybe turn down the volume completely. Uh, unfortunately, we have to discontinue that call. It wasn't clear. Apologies if you couldn't connect. Um, that's is this what it is? I mean, that sounds. He, he ex, he ex that monthly parents are overwhelmed. So why are parents keeping quiet about it? Why everyone trying to do it their own way? Why is everyone to just, wing the whole thing? Why why is everyone saying ah now God go help us? I've heard parents say, ah now God they train children. We have got it. <laughs>
love is unconditional. Nothing serves this love better than a bowl of Indomie. So, show some love with Indomie. Because you find that when they talk about find out the remedy, they learn from where we did. Because to find the easy for me, I wonder that is what we say easy way for me. Now licking my N I N to my glow line. Eh? Don't tell me, bro. I feel just first now pick up my phone. Go use the U S S D code. But that list that one zero nine star. My N I N hash. Ah, uh-huh. quickly. I go just text my N I N to one zero nine. I feel just also visit glowworld.com slash N I N or talk by super fast internet. If I come the area where we say. Glow world near me. Let's just walk and enter. And if you don't forget your N I N die star three four six hash, you don't get them back. So people are there, they call the ask question. Hey, we don't call register for N I N. Don't worry yourself. Just walk and enter any nearest glow world. No, let them disconnect you from all the amazing voice and data offers where they say glow. Linking your N I N, they safe and it's hundred percent free with zero wahala. Glow, grandmasters of data. <laughs> Find the strength I need every time that I look into your eyes. love is unconditional. Nothing serves this love better than a bowl of Indomie. So, show some love with Indomie. Oh yeah, make me they run, no. Oh yeah, make me they run, make me they run. My friend, why are you running? Ha, Paulinus, I they run for my future. <laughs> The ARM Run for the Future is back and features the only megastar that matters, you. It's going down at 6 a.m. on the 23rd of April, 2022 at Falomo Shopping Center at the Falomo Roundabout, Ikoi, Lagos. Register now at www.rftf.armpension.com or download the RFTF app from the Android or iOS App Store. The run for the future is supported by Nescafe, Uber, UBA Pensions, and Juicello. ARM, invested in your tomorrow. Clem, Clem, why you can't depress cement, granite, and a sharp sand? Abby, you don't turn bricklayer. Bro, she don't be that here, Jesse finish house where Now, so, so crack, crack, they the deck in and the staircase. Who? I say, he crack so there, eh? he don't even they make my room the liquor. You never hear of Top Shield. Top Shield? Yes, yeah, so don't let cracks and leaks ruin your home. Use Top Shield, a quality waterproofing product for all kinds of concrete, roof, slab, or decking issues. Top Fix, another quality product from Pure Chem Manufacturing, the makers of Top Bond. Point three Nigeria Info. Your number one station for talk. Let's talk. We talk about real life conversations happening to real life people every, every day. day. This is Family Talk with the Techers. Family is everything. Welcome back. You are listening to the Family Talk with the Techers on What's Up Lake Arts Nigeria's number one for talk, 99.3 Nigeria Info. We're having a conversation on parenting in the internet age. What Chris Land experience or happening or story as a case study. But we're asking, 
several questions on the, the topic. One of them, which is the most paramount of all the questions, is... Are parents overwhelmed? Are parents really overwhelmed? And what is overwhelming the parents? What exactly? Is the internet age too much for parents to handle right now? Would you take the opinion of one of the callers that said, Hey, you know what? Let's go back to analog as far as our kids are concerned until they are grown enough to make decisions for themselves. How do you deal with the want of uh, not being left out? Being in vogue, being aware. The fight to be the one who knows it more than the other, who knows the most about what's happening, even things that are irrelevant to your setting state, uh, to, 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 to their states, to their level or their age. They just want to know it because they want to be the one to say, I know better. Of course, we are in the over-information age. What is your take on this matter? The phone lines to call 012770993 or 012771993 or 012772993. You can drop a WhatsApp message also. On 0809-597-5805. On Facebook, you can also send your comments. We're streaming live on Facebook and YouTube. David O. Ibereme says, well, we parents are to blame. We have no time for the children. We should do better, he says. And um, uh, Tony Adebayo says, What's up, Lagos? Did you hear the Olusha last part of the story? They said the girl left the room on the second floor and went straight to the 10th floor where the male students were to carry out her illicit act. You know, how come she's... Uh, blah, 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 skip that part. You know, uh, he said, as a 13-year-old, all I wanted was to play in the rain and play some Sony games. Parents now um, should do better. They prioritize a career more than the well-being of their children more attention is needed all right we have bossu ajayi on uh, the phone right now hello hello hi what's up lagos welcome what's up lagos good morning my name is bossu ajayi i'm calling from first talk from Mugo area good to have you join us go ahead thank you yeah i think we're just um, parents are selfish they're very selfish hmm. uh not just financially we are selfish the way we were brought up our parents also went through most of these things. Yeah. They don't have uh, less, uh, lesser resources at their disposal while bringing us up. But um, you see a parent that is too lazy to put down the rules. For instance, um, there are some programs I won't mention, but they air like uh, on prime time, adult programs and all that. You see parents allowing their children, you know, watch all sorts, you know, with them. They watch adult content uh, movies and, and the like. Yeah. To me, I would not really want to delve on this case because other cases will, will turn up. Hmm. Now, what I want to delve on is what government can do and what we as a, as, as a as community can do. Community. Hmm. Number one, you know, um, sharing this kind of content or distributing this kind of content should be made illegal. That's yes. number one. Yeah. I've not seen the video. I'm not going to see the video because yeah. once I know it has to do with minors, my head just starts cringing. Then secondly, just like you have, when you have problems with some filling stations, the government take over the filling station and give them to NNPC. Schools that consistently have issues like this should be taken over by the government after taking them through the you know judicial process. They can put, they can put it under PPP bring in seasoned educationists to manage those schools. We cannot keep having um, business people running our educational institution and all they care about is money and, you know, the, the feeling of the entrepreneur will be what will prevail and not what is actually right for the society. Mm. Thank you. All right. all right. Thank you very much, Bosun. Okay, then. Zero, uh, zero one. Hello. Hello. Hi, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead. Yeah, you have Sochebo on the line. Welcome, Sochebo. Thank you very much. Um, 90 seconds. If, quickly. You say? Yeah, go ahead. 90 seconds. All right. If we are blaming the parents in connection with what happened with the Christian, I think we may not be sincere. It's like blaming a parent whose child cheated in exam. 
you have handed over your child to the school. I think the school is the primary corporate here. Okay. Yes. All right, good. If a, if, if, if a child is a thief at home, mm. and you bring such a child to school, and the child sits or sees exam paper, I don't think you blame the, the parents at home because they raised the child being a thief. All right, good. In, in, so, so for me, for me, if we are talking about parenting and their lack of yes, it's true. They are falling short, but not in connection with what has happened. I have not seen the video, and I don't care to see it. All right. So parents need to do something. We, we really need to do something because we have gone into the business world, both man and woman. That's right. Thank you very much, Soche, we made your point. Nobody blamed the parents or blame anybody as far as that case is concerned. We just asked the question, are parents overwhelmed? Parenting in the 21st century. And when you talk about parenting, people always forget that parenting is not left to the parents alone. You know, there is a part of parenting a child that is, if the child is in school, that the, the, the guardian at the time or the teachers at the time play that role that parenting role, as it were. And the parents themselves play their role. So the community also plays a role. When it comes to parenting, as I know it, I believe that it's much more than just the parents. So when we're asking the question of parenting in the 21st century, it's not limited to the parents alone. It's about the society, the teachers, the guardians, the adults. Because all these people can parent children. Being a parent is not only when you are the one that gave birth to the child, remember? So let's, let's just take it out of that. But the question we're asking here, you cannot deny the fact that, you know, what happened on the Christland, if you go into deep into the matter, you will call the school out, you call the parents out, you call the garden out, you call the society out. You even talk about the exposure, which is the key, of exposure to uh, setting illicit or um, explicit content. content. Which, of course, has, to, has been perpetrated, of course, has been um, uh, propagated or promoted by the advent of the Internet. And that's what we're asking. Hey, are parents overwhelmed? What is parenting in the 21st century, parenting in the Internet age like? Is it challenging? Is it overwhelming? What is your response? The phone lines are buzzing, but we'll take this WhatsApp message coming from Timmy. Timmy from Ikpaja says, as parents, we just need to teach our children about these things let yep. them know what they are and its impact on them as children we really can't hide everything from them they're kids and yeah. they're smarter it's better you teach them sex education mm -hmm. and the likes yourself parents are not overwhelmed we're just shying away from having the sex talk with them uh, sex education is important unfortunately the highest we do is uh, if you get pregnant, you will leave this house. Children need actual education, not the one on social studies textbooks. Well said. Well said indeed. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi. Morning. Welcome. What's your name? My name is Linda. Okay. Talk to us. So I think that we are under communication with the children. Okay. This, this is just showing us that whether you tell them or you don't tell them, they're going to know. They're going to even practice. Right. And I don't know if it would be too much to say that that girl now needs proper sex education and even use of contraceptives, because she's already in it. Mm -hmm. So I feel as if, um, I don't know, it could also have been peer pressure for her. Maybe she thought it was the thing to do and be cool among the boys. Mm. I don't know how. <laughs> I, I've really tried to get into her head through my mind. Mm. That's very difficult. Mm. So I just, I just feel like, oh, about parenting, I, I think we're under communication, especially about what you're asking. Mm. But under communicating, we need to let them know everything, how to go about abstinence, how not to go about abstinence and mm. how to protect yourself. Right. I think we need to just communicate, tell it as it is, because it's already happening. Yeah. I remember being small. This is internet age. I remember being really young, and um, there was still stuff happening around. You hear of this five-year-old or this ten-year-old that is doing this and that. It was still happening, right, regardless of the... Um, presence of internet and yeah. all the yeah. <laughs> so it was still happening 
it was it will continue to happen. You still have one bad uncle that is telling you nonsense know, mm-hmm. every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I just think we need to communicate more than anybody else is communicating to our children. Right. The positive. All right. How yes, we need to direct that information so that they don't just filter out mm-hmm. what is needed and you know, I, I don't know how to put it but Okay. You made, yes. made, you made sense. You Thank made you sense so indeed. much. <laughs> we asked the question, are parents overwhelmed? Right. Now let's touch on monitoring. Monitoring is one of the way, one of the key ways of at least knowing what your child is doing is involved. You know, can we do better in monitoring? How how well can you monitor a child in the internet age? Like like following the child to Dubai when the child is traveling for an escort, follow, as a mother or a father, <laughs> going with the child like. Like having like having a uh, a garden in each of the rooms where you have those children, those minors in, mm. to sleep there. Say, ah, uncle is sleeping here. Ensure they're all sleeping on, before you close your eyes. That wouldn't have happened. So anyone knocks the door, why are you here? You send the person back. Like, well, we well, don't want to do a blame game. But yeah. that's the kind of monitoring I'm talking about that we need to do more. To be, yeah, okay, okay. I understand where you're coming from. Like, yeah, I do. Uh, but... We're saying these kids are smarter than us, right? So, so that's why we're overwhelmed. E- exactly. The, th- the question now, I think, is how can we get into the minds of the children in this generation? Hmm. Right? The because children of this particular generation our, and train them accordingly. It was easy. Our parents got into our minds by telling us if you swallow a seed of uh, something, it's going to grow your hair. That cannot work anymore. Or if a boy touches you, you, you get, get pregnant. It doesn't work anymore. So we need to get into their minds. Right. Mm. It doesn't work anymore. They have more information right now. As a parent, I won't lie. That's oh, everything is fine. I'm overwhelmed. I'm <laughs> I mean, you need pro- you needed to see us yesterday, and uh, man. <laughs> so we have to arrest this before he arrests us. He's already arresting us, holding us by, by somewhere. So we need we need we need to arrest the situation. Okay. Uh, on WhatsApp, this person here says, uh, "What's up, Lagos? Parents are overwhelmed. Can you believe that the little girl has over twenty thousand followers on her social media? I, I mean, I saw this one too. And hmm. then, if we're going by the the age, I think you have to be. Uh, I don't know, but going you by her age, she, yes. she, she's she's not um, an adult yet. She's not eighteen yet. Yeah, but she has an account which um, is, not supposed which to is be. in her possession. Yep, right. That means she's running her account by herself. She mm. has a whole social media account, and these are the things we're talking about, right? Uh, I know that, like we said earlier, the mm. fear of oh, um, um, being left, left out. out. Let my kids also do what their mates are doing. Yeah. Let also them, you know, let them follow the trends, but. That alone is it not is it not causing more harm than good? Hmm. And well, let's see. This person went further to say that uh, and has posted over five hundred short videos at home since twenty nineteen. Around twenty nineteen, she would be eight years old. Hmm. What was she doing on social media at eight? Uh-huh. Uh, parents nowadays are too busy to monitor their kids' activities. It's about time we change the things. I feel sad for the kids. This is not just about the girl, but all kids. Even yeah. if the kids need phone maybe small phone is enough and whenever they need access to internet they can use a computer at home Mm. which parents can monitor all their activities or restrict some activities all right more messages precious here says what's up Lagos? good morning to the unstoppable tour i love that (laughs) say (laughs) that again (laughs) um about the topic this morning honestly parents are overwhelmed the way forward is for parents to teach their children boundaries and delay gratification right from toddler age. Mm-hmm. When our kids understand these things, I think the society will be able or will be better place. It takes sacrifice to really raise our child's our children rights. I agree. Okay. Hmm. Cannot another, be lost to parenting. Go ahead, please. Sorry. Okay, another me- <laughs> another there. message. This is quite lengthy. It says, "What's up, Lagos? Parents should go back to God. Children must be raised in the fear of the Lord. We need to be intentional. Uh, we need to intentionally raise the children because uh, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. We need to keep having conversations with our children, educate them appropriately, and always be available to guide them. Uh, parent. Okay, okay, all right. We so, saw so that so message. So, so just, just um. Quoting scriptures to children, maybe used to work l- many years ago when there was the reverence, fear. Right now, people are exposed to information that they question their faith, even. 
People question so many things. It's the age of questioning why is this so? Why and why? So even if just telling children, oh, this is what is good for you, is 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 really not enough. This I day. think they're even going to ask you why. They'll ask you the why. why you you know, say, um, <laughs> our parents <laughs> did it. They'll say, ah, oh, man, you guys are king. I think in this age, right, hmm. in order for uh, parents to educate their children appropriately, yeah. they have to be educated themselves. Bam. Now, the question is, how many parents are rightly educated in ways that would help their children yeah. be better placed in the society? How many parents are digitally educated or digitally literate? How many? Because it's not by you went to school, you read prophetic, you... They, you still have to be digitally literate as a parent, at least. Mm. Okay. The, the, the conversation is getting more heated. The phone lines so. are buzzing indeed. And and really, it's not a blame game. But no. I mean, at the end of the day, right, people say charity begins at home. Yep. The first contact a child would have is via their parents. Before any school authority ever knew that child, the first contact that child would have is via the parents. And and so it, it feels like there there's a lot, lot, lot of responsibility on the parents more than it is on the 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 school, the school because yep. it's just the way you train the child that the child will come to the school right the, the school yeah. is primarily designed to educate them um based on academics right that's right every other is called extracurricular activities right mm -hmm. which i mean in that aspect i think schools should actually do do a lot more but design schools really designed primarily for academics so the other aspect where do they learn them from so, um, but but the, then again, there could be the question of, can the school influence a child negatively? Hmm. Absolutely. So maybe the child has been trained, don't do this, or this is the way you should go, and you go to the school. And they teach the child otherwise. That is where that monitoring comes in. Hmm. Because a child, another child can influence another child. Children right. can influence themselves. Right. right. So the school has to ensure that there's no negative influence among the So the school also has blame. But a role to a play. Role to play. <laughs> a role to play. Let's not pull up the blame game right now. Uh, a role to play. But but like you said, the parents have a, a major role to play. At the end of the day, whether the school fails or not, hmm. it goes back to the parents. True. And the parents can't be pointing at the school. So oh, the school, the school at all, all the time. So let's even tidy the parental role first. You know, yeah. uh, that's talking about the parents themselves and see what happens after then so what do we need to do if parents are overwhelmed how can this be solved all right the phone lines zero one two seven seven zero nine nine three zero one two seven seven one nine nine three and zero one two seven seven two nine nine three we're also on youtube or on facebook you can drop your comments there as well that's right and chidi on, on youtube says parents should be responsible for this sort of disgrace in uh, he added or uh, that on the side of the school, they should also be held responsible for uh, not dealing with it. You know what has happened to the body? Uh, what has happened to the boy involved? He's asking question. All right, thank you for that on YouTube. And um, uh, are parents overwhelmed? Is the question we're asking. Someone says, growing back then in the day, series of cartoons, our books, assignments, homework, house chores, etc. We don't even know what is in between our legs. <laughs> What is used for? And um, God help us today, children now are more than exposed. Our, another one, uh, Francis Ozo Namani says, uh, Francis Namani watching live from uh, Amangunze in Enugu. Hope I got that right. Greetings from here. Greetings to you, my brother from Enugu. Uh, parents, parents have never failed. Situations in the world are overwhelming. Mm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Parents mm. have never failed. Situations in the world are overwhelming do right. you agree mm. because if you want to put if you put yourself in the parents we are parents now yeah see both of us now they yeah <laughs> you don't know the, the amount of guilt my heart they do <laughs> blue, 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 where i am now <laughs> say god do god do god do that's what i'm saying <laughs> i know you can call me a responsible parent I, will, I i might just want to you know agree with you but uh i will agree with you we are cuckoo all of us to be responsible. <laughs> because that is the world we're in. But the truth is, is the world overwhelming? Is the situation of thing overwhelming? What is overwhelming parents? Is it the need to make ends meet? I think there should be better strategy. 
Hmm. I, I really think there should be better strategy to parenting in this era. That's 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 what I would say my take would be on this. Hmm. Better strategy. The phone lines are buzzing. Hello? Hello, uh, no, please let me off my phone. My my radio. All right. Uh, good morning. Good morning. What's up, Vega? Cheers to life. Okay. I want to contribute to this uh, issue. Uh -huh. you know, I am an elderly woman, okay. about 66 years. Okay. And I remember how my mother used to take, take care of us that time. I almost was gangrated too, but because of what my mommy used to tell us, when we finished uh, secondary school, the day of graduation, some boys said, oh, because my, da my daddy was a principal there, oh. and used to be, you know, used to be strict with them. So maybe they wanted to, like, revenge against him the last day. And they told me, ah, this graduation day is so good. Let's go and do some girls are there. Let's go and meet them. Because of what my mommy used to tell me, when I got there, I saw the... The whole place, I didn't see any girl there. I did not enter. I just went back immediately. I just went back. Because my mommy will always talk to us. Even when we are sleeping, my mommy will be talking to us, telling us issues of life, experiences, everything. Hmm. Those things were sinking in. I, in fact, I always hear my mommy's voice anywhere I, am. I was that time. I used yeah. to hear my mommy's voice. That is in the spirit. Yeah. To say this kind of thing, don't do this, or this kind of thing, this kind of thing. But parents nowadays, they are not talking. Hmm. You know, they are not talking. It's like the, maybe they want to belong, they want to be civilized. No, not with children. Keep talking. Even if the children say you are local, ah, mommy, you are old school. Keep talking. My mommy, will be, even when we were sleeping, hmm. she will be talking, talking. We would say, ah. But now I realize that it was so good. Because I was hearing my mommy's voice. Everywhere I went to, that time, hmm. I was 17, that time. All right. I was 17. So parents who keep talking. More news and information coming up. We'll be back in a moment. You were born to move, to turn and suckle, to try with all your might until at last you lift your head, to kick and splash your arms and legs at bath time, to squirm and wiggle across the floor. You were born to crawl, to walk, to run, to play. <laughs> Baby, you were born to move. Now, go with Huggies Pants. With a soft, breathable, all-round waistband and quick dry layer for all night's dryness, Huggies Pants are recommended by 9 out of 10 moms for comfort. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> babe. I can't believe I won't see you again till next week. I've really missed you all. <laughs> nah, I miss you more. That's impossible because I miss, miss, miss you more. <laughs> Me? I miss you like Elodie. <laughs> oh my wow babe <laughs> we've been talking for like forever oh, oh yeah, yeah yeah time to hang up no you hang up okay okay let's hang up on three okay one, one two, two three, three. <laughs> you didn't hang up <laughs> neither did you Joe. that's because i don't want to stop hearing your voice Aww. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> Your pillow talk doesn't have to end when you talk all day long for just 11 co per second to all networks. Dial star 311 hash to get talking right away. Glow Unlimited. Titi, I'm leaving now. Okay, mommy. Bye bye. Hey, make sure you use this hyper bleach sachet to wash all the clothes, clean the bathroom, mop the floors, and uh, uh, uh mommy, one sachet for all this plenty work. Huh? See you! This new hyper bleach 200 ml bigger sachet will help you do more. Yes, sir! Introducing the hyper bleach 200 ml bigger sachet, the bigger sachet you've been waiting for. Now you can do more disinfecting, whitening, and cleaning for just 100 naira. The new 200 ml hypo bleach sachet is available in all stores. Mmm, bigger 200 ml hypo sachet to do more housework. Hypo, hypo, hypo. Prof 
You know the show this party again? Nah, man. Feeling kind of tired, my G. Go sit this one out. See, that's a bummer, Sha. Entry and drinks are free. Hey, hey, hey. I got it. Now, now. You don't change. Switch up. You didn't want me. Let's see they miss this kind of party. You coming or not? <laughs> free definitely changes things. And that's why you'll enjoy free delivery on thousands of products when you place an order above 4,999 Naira in Lagos and Abuja only. And your delivery will be, you guessed that right, free. So start ordering your everyday essentials today on Jumia. T's and C's apply. Jumia, your everyday delivered. Every day is a good day when you've got what it takes. Cowbell evaporated milk gives your body what it needs. Clean up your stove. Happy Cowbell Day. Creamy goodness so. Cowbell evaporated milk is delicious milk that is carefully formulated to retain its creaminess and great taste. So creamy, so good. Cowbell evaporated milk. So creamy, so good. You need money, rent money, business money, rent money, school fees money, rent money, anything money, rent money, house rent money, rent money, money to hold body, rent money, you want to invest your money, rent money, anything money, rent money. For personal or business loans or to earn more money on your savings, visit rentmoney.com or call 0700-5500. Need money, rent money. No matter where you live, no matter how we be, I go always live for you. Anything where you talk or whatever you think, oh, I can be the God for hey. you. All I ask in return is that you treat me a little better. With I go, toilet cleaner, my hygiene, my own. Everyone is proud of the doctor I've become. I'm grateful to a lot of people, but especially for basketball and the grit I built as I learned the sport. The rejections taught me to keep fighting. The long hours taught me discipline. Knockdowns taught me to bounce back. And those unexpected victories that taught me never to give up. Now you should energize your kids with Milo Active Go to help them succeed in sports. Because the grit they learn in sports, they keep for life. Milo, energy to go further. Milo! All right, that's it for the show. Thank you so much, Lagos. We'll have this conversation much uh, brother, some of the time. But for now, God bless you. God bless our homes. And God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Stay tuned for news coming up. This is the most talked about talk station in Nigeria. Ask my husband to do something. He doesn't want to. He has been a lazy man all his life. Nigerians think raising children should just end up with uh, domestic chores. We're not talking about cognitive abilities, travel to Mars and the sun and the moon. We're thinking of pounding yam and cooking soup. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. It's 12 o'clock. And now, this is the news. The news. The news. On 99.3 Nigeria Info. Nigeria Info, here is the news. I'm Binga Oreshegno in the headlines. States warn federal governments not to tamper with $418 million Paris Club loan refund. Federal Capital Territory authorities seal off Ministry of Works and Housing to over 10 billion our environmental debt. Lagos State APC Governance Advisory Council approves Babadi Disonwalu's second term bid in office. On the foreign scene, Street Battles reported in city captured by Russian forces as Moscow attack entire Ukraine eastern front line. The news in detail coming up shortly. Nigeria Info, your number one for news. Always spot on, fresh and direct on 99.3 Nigeria Info.
now the news in detail. We're informing you that 36 states of the Federation have urged the federal government not to tamper with funds accruing to them of alleged Paris Club loan judgment debts. The states in a document said they were not parties to any suit on the London Paris Club reform. Speaking through the body of attorney generals of the Federation, the states warned further that should the federal government proceed to make any... 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's